busy morning of demolition. Not signing this morning, so it's five to eleven. There you go. Great tool that. And there, there's the, um, the blade everyone asks about. It's actually blue when it comes. There you go. Quarter past six. But.
Right, there we go. Here's the nasty fan out. You see where the insulation for where Alex has built the other side. Plenty of insulation in there. So that's just a 320mm piece straight in. So busy morning of demolition. Not signed in this morning, but it's 5 to 11. So that's done. We didn't do that yesterday. So door came out in one piece, no damage for all those people who keep telling us we keep, should save this shite for the state of it. The customer said it's knackered and it's going in the skip so we took it out carefully to give them the option. So there we go, all the two, that two of them was done yesterday as was that. But that's, um, we'll come back to that but um, yeah again cavity has been cleared out, we'll always do that. So we've got a straight wall through now and then we'll be building up to here across getting that window against that side putting that in fixing it to this side and then building this side up this side again cleared the cavity out and because we had um, no frame in the way no brickwork got this beauty on it that took, I bet that took 10 minutes to do all them and look how clean clean it does it absolutely fantastic there you go, great tool that, and there, there's the, um, the blade everyone asks about, it's actually blue when it comes, there you go, expert, carbide tipped, and this, this is sand cement, it's not that strong, and it tore through it, and I didn't think it would on this sand cement, but it, it's done well, it saves so much time that, so, so little dust, so, so much time saved. So yeah, these are three quarters here, these, look this. So judging you know, when we see what we've got across here, they could be coming out. Oh yeah, as well, we took the floor tiles up, which came up to the door, and then we had um, plastic put in the cavity and it's filled with sand and cement so they could come over the top, because obviously they haven't formed the door like we do. There's the, uh, the stuff out of the cavity. The screen. It's done right, but it's like they put plastic in it to stop the damp because it is very damp down there. But um, it should, that brickwork shouldn't be there, the floor should come up to this skin. But obviously, this is like, it's got to be the 60s this was built. They haven't even used block, still under any old brick on the inside. So, yeah, quick tidy up, load out, and then um, I'm going to get this block working first this block working first and then and then jump on the brickwork by that time Alex should be finished round here he's cracking on here there you go course and a half to go made a lovely job of that so yeah once he's dropped off there he can tidy that up and he can start tidying all this up while I crack on with this so it's uh, like I said it's 5 to 11 all the demolition's done now so we can start putting things back together favourite bit so yeah um, back on the old time that's how I get make sense of all this I'm catching a bit There we go, tidied up, 
all bagged up, ready to go. Once Alex has done his scaff, you can get round with the barrel and that then. Alex is going to move all this for me. Love the job, that, look at that. Very smart. Nice job. Thank you. Yeah, so we've um, got everything cleaned out. Mark my gauge up as usual. Just working out the cuts, I'm going to do all the cuts to the grinder with the evolution as usual, that's done. So we'll just build it. And then this, this is going to have a pillar here. Probably just, I think it's slightly less than a block. So it'll be just, we'll just put block on block a little up there. Put some screw ties in there. There's our tie wires, there's our screw ties. Insulation's in the garage in that brick jacket bag there. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting to drill the screw ties. I'm going to get Alex with the evolution hoover. So when I was drilling you can put the hoover underneath so stop the dust blowing back in the kitchen as it's quite it's it's tidyish <laughs> but um as tidy as we can get it anyway <clears throat> but yeah here's one of those things you have to look out for on the extensions damp course level this has had a grano uh, screed put on top probably about 20 mil so don't assume damp course is your floor level that's about 20 mil above, so we did make that mistake on the last one, it cost us a lot of time. So I won't be making that mistake ever again, I'll be checking that on every time, on every job. But yeah, um, I'm ready to get cracking now. So I'll try and get some block work in before lunch. Yeah, let's get these cuts done. Here we go, progress update. Alex is going to go and do that for me. The block that I missed. The It's a 310 on edge and it fits straight in. Uh, I've smashed up the uh, light, the extractor, thrown that away and just isolated the wire. Don't think it's live anyway. But I've just taped it all up so it's safe. These are our cuts for here. Because um, 
this is where we come up to with the window so it's just a block on block all the way up there with the ties in with um we had we have 50 mil insulation when we do cav uh, lintels because nine times out of ten they're all properties with 50 mil cavities but on this house for some reason it's a 50, 65 mil cavity if you notice the um they use a, a brick as a closure so we just had enough for the 50 to keep it as 50 but it was rattling around a bit so i've just nipped off instead of just doing the minimum i've just nipped off the berries and got another full pack of um another full pack of 50 mil so we're doubling it up so that's nice 100 mil in there nice and warm and do the same up there when we do that one and that side's already done so yeah inside's done just nip a bit bit of tidying up in there that just needs doing i'll probably um grab him while he's in there passing the stuff in and oh yeah you can make me a brew while he's in there as well so it's just gone about 10 past two so it's going to be a bit of a push but we'll get it done we're going to whack the window in as soon as we get up to height we've got a nice solid bit to, for the window to sit on this side and then we're going to fix it in that side with two grabbers and then we're going to put two screws into this side of the frame sticking out into our brickwork so we can build them in we're not going to seal it because our ceiling isn't very good so we'll probably leave that for the kitchen fitter to do they're probably a lot better with a silicon gun than we are so um, yeah, that's it. Alex has just got those up. I got the f up to damp, and then he's just put those few in for me while I've just nicked the berries. Took me 24 minutes round trip. It's only about two miles down the road. It's just getting through all the traffic lights. But yeah, I'm gonna get this whacked up now. And as soon as we get up to there, the wind is going in. So I'll put you on time lapse again. And while I'm doing this, Alex is gonna have a good tidy up. Got a few block left over and a few brick. So um, we'll ask the customer if they want some leaving for any other patch jobs. Oh yeah, a quick one, talking of patch jobs. Made a lovely job of that, Al. I probably helped him for the middle half dozen courses, but he's done the rest of it on his own, which is great because he, he doesn't get a lot of chance to get on the trowel. So he's done a lovely job of that. Nice match. And while he was there, we had one of these here. So he's whipped that out as well. But this one... We don't want to start messing with this because this is a gas pipe so we don't want to be swinging hammers and power tools around this so unfortunately we can't do that today we just don't want to risk it so yeah there you go the worst one's done the more obvious one the other one's not so bad but yeah there you go as you if you remember that used to be a render a 1200 window with the 1200 render panel underneath it which is now over here as we said, customers are getting a uh, skip for the kitchen when the kitchen comes out, so this will all go in there. Good job, we've got plenty of food bags. So yeah, I'm going up around here. This, is, this all needs a rub down as well yet, because that was pointed quite wet last night, so it's all going to rubbed off later, get all the snaps off. So, set up again, and let's get this whacked up.
quarter past six. But, sorry about that, we're done. That is one window completely patched up and shifted over to here. Plus a bit of patching. Yeah, plus a bit of patching. And uh, a window moved and a door bricked up. And uh, the, the little patching up. I was going to do this one, but as you can see, it's way too close to that gas pipe. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with that. That was already a struggle as it was trying to get this brick in through that pipe. But there's my part, and there's there's Dad's part. And obviously, like Dad said, we fitted that window in too, which wasn't easy. It consumed a good half an hour, but. The main thing is, we're done. Just as it's starting to really come down on us, so. We'll get tidied up and what have you. I'll try and do an outro, I've still got some will to live. We're spot on with the rain again. Yeah, that's gotta go back on for this. Bloody hell, sorry Tony. But, that is the end of this little two day job. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel or you wanna see more, Stuff like this and everything else we do, lintels, extensions, patching up, garage conversions. Be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload our next videos. That's always a massive help and we always greatly appreciate the support you guys give us. This has been a very wet and fed up Steve and Alex. And we will catch you in the next video.